what's up today we're gonna learn physical change and chemical change let's go i'm ready are you ready okay look at my kitchen i'm joking it's my lab it has so much things fruits papers anything today i made that because we're gonna teach you how to make physical change and chemical change guys let's start with the physical change we bring the paper a piece of paper we tear it when we tear it the paper is still paper if we tear it it change size and shape the same if it's a cucumber this is a carrot we change shape but it's still a carrot I can make any shape I want now let's start with that we smash the non mag with the puzzle look how they came small pieces but they're still the same that's physical change now if we cut this fabric it's still fabric so it's physical change a change in its appearance even war have more than one state if it's steam if it melts if it's freeze all these are physical change let's throw this cup After we throw the glass cup, it changed in shape, but it's still glass. All of these are physical change. Who knew physical change is too yummy? Let's start with the chemical change. We need some vinegar and baking soda. Let's, I put a bit of vinegar here. Now let's put soda. We'll put one big spoon. Oh, it's so cool. I gotta try it again. One time, please. Please, where? Okay, what's happening? That's chemical change because that's happening because we can't separate them anymore we can we, we make them the same like it was before no now let's burn the paper we burn this one notice the char guys after we burn the paper, it creates a new substance. It's char. Here are some rusty screws. If you have a rusty car or a rusty metal or anything is rusty, it's chemical change. Also, if we fry an egg, or we have a rotten fruit, chemical chain takes place. So chemical chain can create a new substance and it has an odor and it can release heat and absorb heat. If you like my video, like, share and subscribe.